is a difference between having hair issues and having hair hate. Hair issues, you know, like, oh, I have split ends or, oh, you know, I need to touch up my roots. Oh my God, my hair is so greasy, right? There's a difference between having hair issues and having hair hate. Actually hating your hair because the system tells you that you need to change your hair, that your hair is not beautiful, that you have bad hair, that you can't get a job with that hair, that that hair is ugly, you can't get married with that hair, you better do something to your hair, you going to school with your hair like that. All of that negative noise creates an actual hate, causes you to actually despise the way that God made you naturally and this is what the movement is for. So let's not keep it real surface level to be like, oh well everyone has hair and everyone has done something to their hair that they just should just be natural that's not the movement that's not the point of the movement okay so they need to start a different movement for disliking whatever going for flat ironing i don't know they need to start something over there the natural hair movement was specifically specifically started for women of color to go natural to embrace your curls and your kinks and go natural even being natural you know it varies on a um on a scale right one might say well i don't have a relaxer i'm natural one might say well i don't wear weave i'm natural so it varies from person to person to be honest one might say oh you know doing the stretching method that's not natural you should leave your hair in its trunk and say that's natural everyone has a different opinion on what's natural but we can all agree that the natural hair movement was to get women of color in my opinion specifically black women to love our natural hair to wear our natural